Well, how uniform is it? We can find out. Anywhere we put the cursor on that surface, it'll tell us what the compaction is underneath that spot. Where it's black, it's actually over compacted. Oh wow, 130 percent. Now, is this value derived from something that 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 you've already established? In yes. The, yeah, yes. Okay. You have to establish that value with like a nuclear gauge or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. have to have a reference value first. Okay. And then. Let's say I just rolled that over there and it took me three passes to get to a CMV of 45. Okay. And then we test it with the nuclear gauge and we say, okay, that's good, that's 100%. So then what I do is I go into my map recording screen and I put those values in. Three passes, 45. And that's the height of my lift, two thirds of a foot. Now, whenever I get 45 for a CMV, it's going to interpret it as 100% compact. Okay. Right. So it's, it's a meaningless number. It's just it's right. a reference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A reference value. Yep. The, the value lies in once you've rolled that entire service, you have proof of what you have of achieved compaction. for compaction. Huh. So the paver can't come back to you and point fingers after yeah. that and say, you didn't do the subgrade right. That's why it's breaking up. Yeah. No, excuse me. Look, here's my... <laughs> Yeah, there's my print right. now. Yeah. Now, is this helping in all on jobs where you're getting into, like, where your job foreman's coming out and checking your compaction? Will he, is that typically, he's trusting you more now where you can take and hand him your data that you've got there? That's what's coming down the road, right. As you're there's become more and more widely the used. foreman then that goes out and pounds the rod down in to measure compaction. Yeah, yeah, we're well, making his job a lot easier. Yeah. He still wants to check, you know, half yeah. a dozen points in a mile or something. Right. You're checking every square foot. Yeah. If you got a spring under there or an old rotten culvert, you don't even know it's there, it'll You're show up on out. here. It'll be a different yeah. color. That is neat. And then you can use your northern and eastern coordinates. You give those to the excavator operator. Oh, figure out like where exactly Those numbers are where the center of that drum is right now. All right. Wow. So if that's yellow instead of green, I yeah. tell the excavator operator, he goes to that exact location, he knows right where to dig to fix yep. it. Yep. Wow. <laughs> you can also, this is this is a screen showing yeah. compact measurement value. The next screen actually shows number of passes. Uh, okay. So you can see, you know, one pass is red, two passes is blue, three passes is green. And I've determined four passes purple. I determined that three passes would give me 100%. But you can see on some of these places, I've gotten more than four passes, yeah. but more than three passes. Oh, uh, yeah, four. Right there, I've gotten four. Five. Oh, five, yeah. All right. Sweet. And that's why it's over compacted. Yep. Typically, the roller operator is the least experienced person on the job site. Yeah. Besides so, the guy in the ditch. <laughs> up, up until today, rolling has been kind of random. Yeah. You know, go roll it. You got nothing else to do? Go yeah. roll. You know, roll it till it looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, if you over roll it, now you got to bring in more material, right. more expense, more time to bring it back up to grade again because it was over compacted. Right. You can avoid that with this. Wow. This is a real time quality feedback tool. Smart compaction. Yeah. Smart compaction. Yeah. You can also, if you've got, let's say you've done, you know, four miles of pavement today, or four miles of subgrade today, and you send a, a guy out there with a rover pole taking readings to give you an as-built yeah. elevation, you don't need that anymore. Elevation is derived from the GPS antenna. That roller is always in intimate contact with the surface. Right. Yeah. Every place that's been, mm -hmm. you have accurate elevation yeah, information oh, yeah. already saved to your card. Yeah. You just pop the card out and download it. There's your as-built. Wow. You can even radio it if you had two-way communication, yeah. which is one of the options on this system. Okay. You can actually radio that information back to a computer all day. The supervisor can be sitting at his desk and seeing the same screen. Knows exactly what's going on. The supervisor sitting at his desk on a day like today. You got that right. <laughs>